back to my channel I am the Ink Northerner and today is a video response to Billy over at Cask Cast Strength Gaming say that with a mouthful um, I, I believe it's Billy if I've got that wrong please hit me up in the comments and let me know mate um, so he put out a question as to what yeah, what game would you like to see turned into a film now for me this is a difficult one because I don't think you can successfully to a degree turn a film sorry turn a game into a film uh, the reason being you are the whole part a point of a video game is you are in control of the character so you are basically playing that character and when you take that away it completely changes the way that you interact with that person so you don't have the same sort of feelings towards them so if you consider um, things like Mass Effect you play as Shepard in Mass Effect but it's your version of Shepard so you you design him you design how he looks and then you take that on to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 and so on and then it, I sat and thought well are there any any films that you know any games that you could successfully turn into a film um, and things like the Dead Space series came to me you know w would that make a successful film um, I believe it possibly could because the the protagonist is effectively an unknown person you're in a suit all the time um, how that would would go across in film I don't know because there's no you would have no human character for you to interact with um, and then there are games that are based on films that are very successful you know things like Aliens Isolation does a, a great job I mean, even to even to an extent um, things like Sonic the Hedgehog the, the film and the Ratchet and Clank films they don't kind of even though they're animated you, they don't they don't come across from the the game as such which is why um, Resident Evil is a success well at least the first one um, the sequels are a bit meh um, because it takes away all the video game element as such uh, and tells you the the story from uh, Paul Anderson's point of view now I looked, to, looked through my collection wondered what I thought would, would work um, and, and uh, there is a game it's part of a series that um, that had three main games in the canon it had a, a downloadable spin-off game that wasn't in the main canon and also a standalone expansion for the main game the game in question and this will surprise a lot of people given that I'm an Xbox gamer and not a Sony pony is actually infamous so why do I think this will work well let's give you a bit of backstory on infamous shall I um, so infamous you play as the character Cole who goes to deliver a package to the historic district of Empire City um, and that package turns out to um, it explodes or there isn't an unexplained explosion it turns out it's that package um, Cole develops sort of powers from it there are um, certain gangs that develop powers as well and you've got to basically defeat these gangs and find out what's going on to claim clear your name because you're framed for the explosion the the game is an amazing action adventure game where you develop these superpowers as you go along you you kind of beat people and you take the powers from them um, so each sort of Empire City um, I believe it's Empire City um, has a an above ground um, train system and you develop this electric power it lets you ride along the rails it's it's fantastic the game was made by sucker punch who I think did sunset overdrive which was a more cartoony style on the Xbox sunset overdrive is a good game but um, I prefer infamous if I'm honest and then there's like I said there's infamous 2 you have infamous second son and infamous first light those are the the actual big games and then you've got festival of blood which was the downloadable game now 
again why do I, why do I think this will work well I think this will work because it's set in a kind of real setting if you will Empire City looks very much like New York City the sequel um, is in I can't remember the name of the the city but it it, it's, it resembles New Orleans the third one is in Seattle so they're in real realistically looking places um, and with all the superhero stuff that we've got at the minute with all the Marvel stuff and all the effects that can be used I think Infamous would translate to film better than a lot of other things I'm dreading what The Last of Us will be like because you even though it's a story driven game you still have control over um, Joel and, and uh, her name escapes me now it's not Abby because she's the She's in the second one. I can't remember her name. Yeah, anyway, the the little girl um, in it. In and I, I'm also dreading what Uncharted's going to be like because the Assassin's Creed game was atrocious. Uh, the Assassin's Creed film, sorry, was atrocious. Um, and it's because it takes away you controlling that character. So, Infamous for me would work because of the superhero element. And I still, I would still err on the side of caution that it probably wouldn't because you're taking away your control over Cole. Um, I'm surprised Sony haven't tried to to push it to a film. To be fair, um, but yeah, um, that is what I would consider if I needed a game that if I was to take a game and make a film out of it it would be infamous um, just because I like the story and I like the I like everything about it it's a good action action game uh, and I actually got it for free on PSN when uh, I think it was Lizard Squad took it down a few Christmases but say a few maybe 10 12 years ago um, but and I, I would never have played it otherwise if I hadn't got it for free I'm so glad I did. Uh, it, it it was a great game to play, and I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, that is my video response to Cast Strength Gaming. I will put a link to his channel um, in the description. Please, if you're not subbed to him, go over check his stuff out. He, he, you know, he does produce some good stuff, so definitely check him out. All that's left for me to do is thank you for watching. I've been the Ink Northerner, and I will catch you on the next one.